you. Uh, Experts Bridgeport Police Chief AJ Perez is released from prison after he was convicted of his role in rigging the police chief exam. His release comes less than a year from when he was sentenced. News 12 shows Pedrosian outside police headquarters where Perez used to work and spoke with city officials about his release. Shosh. Eric, city officials call Bridgeport the city of second chances or the city of redemption. Tonight, just one day after former police chief AJ Perez was released from prison, they want him to be remembered for the good things he did here. He realized that he made a mistake and he took the accountability. Community members say AJ Perez served his time after he was released from federal prison on Thursday. And we are a city of redemption. We are a city of second chances. And I know there's plenty of people in this community that remember the days that uh, AJ would be first in line to respond to emergencies. Perez was sentenced to one year and one day in federal prison back in April after he pled guilty to conspiracy and lying to the FBI after cheating on the police chief's exam. Perez was released Thursday, serving only eight months of his sentence. If that's what they agreed and they found to be equitable, who am I to say anything different about the sentence that AJ had to, to, to serve? For State Senator Dennis Bradley, who is currently facing several counts of wire fraud, but upholds his innocence, sheds light on accountability for public officials. And I know that when AJ was in a similar situation, he understands full right what his duties are. And if he breached those duties, uh, as you can see, he has the integrity to say, I did something wrong here, and he, he pled guilty to his charges. City Clerk Lydia Martinez hopes the community can remember the positive things Perez did while serving Bridgeport for 37 years. He made a mistake, and I understand that. But in Bridgeport, Bridgeport is a city of the second chance. Now, there's no clear answer as to why Perez was released four months early. We've reached out to his attorney for comment, and we're still waiting to hear back. For now, we're in Bridgeport. I'm Shosh Petrosian, News 12, Connecticut.